Well-known golfer Justin Rose said this, if you start down too early and have the idea of your hips starting down, it's gonna seriously kill your golf swing. His advice here is, and I've got a five-step process so you can implement it, is that when you get to the top, you've got to wait, 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 right? And you've got to let these arms drop and then put that power through. And we're going to bring this into your swing in a way you know you've got it right. So welcome to the channel. My name's Alex Elliott, a PJ Gold professional and top 50 world coach. Now, this channel is powered by you, the viewers. So today we're answering these questions about how do I stop coming over the top? How do I stop slicing? How do I make my downswing more efficient? Well, this is the easy way to do it. But if you want to get involved, it's really easy. Subscribe, turn the bell, and just pop your comment or query down below. Now, if you turn the bell, it just means you won't miss me answering your question. Let's start with stage one. And it's really quite easy, just a little bit of a checkpoint, if I'm really honest here, because a lot of golfers miss out on this. Let's peg one up for you. Now, top of the backswing is, oh, we just gotta just check, please, it's dead quick. As you get top of the backswing, all I want you just to make sure is that our shoulders have somewhat turned more than our hips. Now, I don't really mind if all you can go is turn to there, but my shoulders have turned more than our hips. If we think and we place two lines through here, upper turn more than lower. That is almost our source of power in the golf swing. Stage one, done and dusted. Let's now move into stage two. And they're really easy, these. Like, look how easy that first one was. Stage number two. Really listen closely to what I'm gonna say here. So nice and relaxed, take yourself to the top of the backswing. Now again, you'll notice my shoulders have turned more than my hips. I want you just to practice this one thing here. One thing only. We're going to get the club just to drop. Now this is what Justin Rose was saying, we've got to wait. We don't want to turn early, that's that, okay? So from here, I want you to practice dropping those arms down, keeping your back to target. Okay, keeping your back to target. Now, you'll notice here, as I'm dropping these down, my hands are in the middle of my chest. I'm not dropping them down over here. I'm not pulling them down over here. I'm really bringing them down my zip line. I'm keeping my tilts, I'm keeping my turns. So stage one, get your back swing in order. Just check it. Stage two, just lower those hands. And what I'd really recommend there at stage two, Practice that for six to 10 reps. Don't rush it. Really get that sensation of dropping the hands, keeping the back to target. We're now swiftly gonna move into stage number three. So this is where we start to actually add a little bit of turn, but it's not our first motion. Now, I'm breaking this down very, very slowly into little increments so you can learn it. But in reality, you wouldn't actually see this. You just see it looks like I actually started with these, but my hips are starting a split second later than what you think they should, okay? These drop first before these start. So at stage number three, I want you to practice swinging back down now to around our hip height. So we make our turn, we drop, and as we start to drop now, watch this, turn my hips. Now, where did that club just move? on plane, from the inside, it didn't do this. It didn't even look like it was gonna do that. It looked very natural, right? And I know this will work for you. So stage number three, and again, concentrate on this for six to 10 reps before hitting any shots. We're gonna swing to the top, we're gonna lower, and as we're lowering, and I would say, as my hands sort of get to around the middle of my chest, start to turn, just practice, that action here, that action here, that action here, really getting the club, what I call prepped for our final two stages. Dead easy, three stages in, let's get into stage four. So we're three stages into this process. This is where we start to bring it all together. I'm actually gonna show you how far I hit this because I know with very little effort, you can add like 12, 15, even maybe 17 to 18 yards to your driver. Yes, 
I promise you. That might sound ridiculous, but you can by just making yourself more efficient this way. So we're on about now. Stage number four is the release. Now, I want you to have a look at this from player cam. All I imagine, and this is what I think about release. Everyone sometimes talks about wrists, and I talk about wrists, but I found recently the feedback I've given students is about the toe of their club and the relationship to the heel. Now, most of us, we leave it wide open. Okay, now if you look at that from player cam, if I leave it wide open, my heel is ahead of my toe. What I say to my students now is just practice getting that toe just, just, I say, have a look at some player cam, to have overtaken the heel a foot after impact. Well, if it's slightly overtaking it there, then that means it must have been closed, right? So really just practice that element, that element. Now I'm going to bring it all together now. So stage number four, we're understanding that we want the toe of the golf club at the point just after impact to be slightly ahead of the heel. Stops us leaving it open. Now, you might do this at first, like a volume switch, and have it too much and hit it too left, but just tone it back. So bringing that full picture together, we can practice stage one to four like this. Up, drop, turn, toe over. Now, I like the look of that, okay? I really like the look of that. So the final stage is just to hit some away. And I would say, think about gears of a car. Start by hitting one at this speed. So we're up, letting it drop, turn it over. Okay, and then we can then go stage two a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker again. And what, no. And then we can go into gear two a little bit quicker, gear three a little bit quicker again. And then when you're feeling a bit more comfortable, start to get towards this speed, which is around gear four or gear five. But still I'm focusing on those elements, those elements like this. <laughs> that was so out the middle. I mean, this is what we want, isn't it? 250 yards at ease, building a golf swing that is reliable and comfortable for you to bring into your swing. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel here, Alex Elliott Golf, for free, simple golf tips that are honestly just here to help you improve.